Ahead. As Russia launches an attack on Ukraine, tanks and armored vehicles entering the country from Belarus as Ukraine declares martial law and asks its civilians to join their defense forces. And welcome in. I'm Keith Nelson on this Thursday morning. I'm Louis Turner. Let's take a live look at the capital of Ukraine, Kyiv. Uh, blasts have been heard there overnight. And within the past half hour, as many Ukrainians have started evacuating their homes, fleeing the city. The live look there, though, showing uh, calmness, which we're hearing from reporters on the ground as well as maybe a lot of this had been anticipated. But when you're talking about 40 dead, uh, there's also attacks coming in from the north out of Belarus, as mentioned there into Kyiv, but also the south and the east, uh, almost a chess game that it seems Vladimir Putin had been playing. And here right now is video from overnight. Explosions can be heard and seen right off in the distance. Russian President Vladimir Putin has cast aside international condemnation and sanctions, warning other countries that any attempt to interfere would lead to, quote, consequences you have never seen, end right, quote. So the United Nations held another emergency security council meeting overnight discussing this crisis. And while the council was meeting, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced Russia is moving forward clearly with its military operations in the neighboring country. UN council members condemned Russia for its actions. Russia alone is responsible for the death and destruction this attack will bring. And the United States and our allies and partners will respond in a united and decisive way. Oil prices are on the rise after Russia launched its attack overnight. U.S. crude futures jumped by 5.24 percent to trade at $96.92 per barrel. Now, Brent crude future actually were up by 5.4 percent at $102.07 per barrel. That's the first time since 2014 it crossed the $100 level. Natural gas also surged at 5.4 percent. The rise in oil is just another hit for consumers as inflation continues. Of course, we have a big military community right here on our first coast wondering how our leaders are going to respond to this attack. In just the last few moments, we're hearing NATO is going to begin support, uh, at least an air defense for Ukraine, something the president of Ukraine had been begging for. Uh, Renata Gregorio continues our live team coverage outside NAS Jax. Renata with, with some of our uh, local reaction here in Florida. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we are right across the street from NAS Jacks. You can see the plane over there. And of course, we are here because our military members are some of the people who have been following the situation most closely from the very beginning and really feeling that stress over it. Reaction is coming in this morning from our political leaders here in Florida. Senator Marco Rubio going to Twitter with more than a dozen posts about the invasion, saying one concerning development is Russia has carried out a few targeted operations uncomfortable close to the Polish border. Here's a quote, Ukraine is outgunned and outmanned, but they are brave and tough fighters. And as the world will soon learn, they have already inflicted damage on Russia. President Biden also taking to Twitter to say he will be meeting with the leaders of G7 and the United States and our allies will be imposing severe sanctions on Russia. He also states the U.S. will continue to provide support and assistance to Ukraine and the Ukrainian people. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky posting on Twitter, the world is with us. World leaders have said an invasion could cause massive casualties. Of course, we're already seeing some of those. They could topple Ukraine's democratically elected government and change the post-Cold War balance in the East. It could shift geopolitical dynamics in Europe, European energy supplies, and shock global financial markets. Now, how could this all actually affect your JEA bill? That's coming up. We'll talk about that. And here from another Florida politician. Live in Jacksonville, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side.